All right, grocery haul for the rest of the month. Hey guys, so it is Monday. Of course, I am sharing my grocery haul and meal plan. And this haul is pretty much everything we need for the rest of December. Now, I used Shipt. This is my first bad experience with Ship, And yeah, she was two hours past the window of when it was supposed to be delivered. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I was a little bit disappointed. Some things were missing that the receipt said I paid for and they're not here. So I'm a little bit bummed. I'm probably not going to be using Shipt next time just because I'm gonna need a little break to get back and hopefully have a good experience the next time. But I mean, one bad experience out of, I think this is the third time. So we'll see, we'll see. But it's a little bit sour. I have a sour taste in my mouth right now for a shift. I'm a little bit disappointed. But I did go ahead and do a meal plan for the next two weeks. I shared in my vlog. Now, I did use a lot I didn't have to buy a lot of food for dinner, but I did buy a lot of fun things for the kids because it is December. We bake a lot this month, and I got a lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally have gotten because my kids are gonna be home for two whole weeks because of Christmas break, and we're just going to eat um, a little bit fun. <laughs> so you guys will see what I'm talking about when I show you the groceries. Now, because I use shipped, I do not have the exact total yet, but I will have that down below. And I already know that we totally went over budget this month, but that's okay because the past two months we have been under budget in our grocery. So I say that's okay. That's not okay. That means we spent way too much money on food, but we are going to be sharing more along the budget lines and all of that starting next year, um, monthly budgets and things like that. So, all right, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into this food that I got. All right, so first off, my husband said we needed a little bit, a little bit of alcohol. <laughs> so I sent him to the store because you cannot order alcohol through shipped. And this right here costs $75. We typically do not buy this much all at once. Um, and this will last us way longer than the next two weeks or you know, past the end of December. Um, but at HEB, if you do buy six bottles, you get 10% off. So I think that's why he decided to do it that way. And then this is our favorite beer, Blue Moon, the Belgian white with an orange, which yeah, we have some oranges. I was about to say, I didn't add oranges to the list, but we do have some oranges. So he got one pack of that and then six bottles of wine and this was $75. Now here are the groceries right there and then I have some more over here with the meal plan so I'm just gonna go ahead and start over here um, some of these items I did pick up because they were on coupon through the shipped app so I'll have that credit on my next order um, and they just sounded good and something that we don't buy all the time so what is that that is these nuts they just sounded really good to me they were on coupon so I decided to pick them up this one is the planters deluxe mixed nuts and then this one is the Planters Salted Caramel Peanuts. I think my daughter and I are gonna love these. I got my favorite Tropicana Essentials Probiotics in the Strawberry Banana. I did go ahead and pick up a thing of eggnog and then also a thing of Simply Apple Juice. These are drinks that we don't typically pick up every week, but again, the kids are gonna be home and I wanted just to add a little bit different things into our um, meal plan and in the pantry and stuff like that this these coming weeks. I got a thing of heavy whipping cream, some cinnamon rolls. I got two packages of the Beef Little Smokies, a thing of Grand Southern Homestyle Biscuits, running low on butter, so I got the Kerrygold Naturally Softer. Now this is something we pick up every single week, the Simply Orange Juice. I did get three of my Chobani flips and they are changing the style of them. Those look very fun. So I got the Coffee Brownie Bliss, the Salted Caramel Crunch, and the Peanut Caramel Satisfaction. Got some whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. My daughter absolutely loves this on bagels in the morning. Some hard salami, some Marvel Avengers string cheese some pepperoni, 
I got two boxes of pot stickers. One of them is pork and one of them is chicken. Um, this is something that we rarely pick up anymore, um, but with it being the holidays and my husband absolutely loves Coca-Cola and the cherry flavor, and I love Dr. Pepper. These were on coupons, so I went ahead and picked them up. This is also a thing that is in every single meal plan or a weekly grocery haul. It's two gallons of milk. I did pick up an extra half gallon just because I'm going to be making some crock pot hot chocolate. So I needed some extra milk. I got this caramel macchiato um, coffee creamer because my daughter has been using way too much of my creamer. And you guys will see that in a minute. Um, and she loves caramel, so I got this for her to use in her hot chocolate and when she makes cold brew and coffee and all of that. I got a small package of smoked turkey breast, some seasoned french fries, some packages of chocolate here. Now this is for the hot chocolate, the semi-sweet morsels. And then I am going to be making a little pretzel dessert. We already made them once, but I'm making them again to take, um, to share with family on Christmas Eve. So I picked up a bag of Rolos and a bag of M&Ms. And of course I will be sharing that in the vlog. If you guys did not know, I am doing Vlogmas this whole month, so if you are new to my channel, you might you can check out some of my vlogs just to get to know me a little bit better. Um, this has become almost a weekly as well. My daughter Rose is just absolutely in love with this stuff, and she gets very upset when we don't have it in the refrigerator. So I picked up some more of the Yo Crunch vanilla yogurt with M&Ms, and then I did go ahead and pick up the one with Oreos in it as well. Here's the bagels by Lenders. Yeah, Lenders. There's six of them in this package for my daughter for breakfast. I picked these up last week and my daughter absolutely loves them. So I went ahead and got another bag for her and that is the breakfast kolaches with cheese. I got a big package of Gatorade for the kiddos and this is the G2 Thirst Quenchers. There are six fruit punch, six glacier freeze, and six grape in there. Um, and then I got this bag of Sun Chips Original. My oldest daughter loves these and the original is really the only flavor that she likes. So this is strictly for her. I got some bag salads here. This one is the Southwest Chopped Salad Kit and then this one is the Sweet Kale Chopped Salad Kit. I love these, they are so yummy and they are the H-E-B brand. But these are one of my favorite or two of my favorite salads. Some cans, we got refried beans, ranch style beans, and two home style baked beans. So we have tacos on the menu, and I thought this would be fun and just a little bit different for the kids and us to have. And it is the flat, like flat bottom taco shell. So I thought that would be fun. Got some cereal, and this is one of the things that was missing that she didn't tell me she couldn't find or anything like that. So I am going to be making a very small Walmart trip tomorrow, um, but I did go ahead and get the Captain Crunch with berries and the frosted mini weeds. Here's the other package of peanuts that I picked up because of the deal that was going on, and it is the Nut Rishin, Nut Rishin, Nutrition, yeah, <laughs> I was having a hard time reading that. Protein mix, um, and it has like little chocolate pieces in there along with some nuts and stuff. So yeah, this is the third week in a row I've had to buy my creamer. Um, my daughter got into a little bit of trouble just because she's been using way too much. So hence, I got her her own small one, and if she uses that, that's it. I'm not buying another one. Um, and then this is for me, so hopefully that lasts longer. All right, and then I've got some bread. So I have a package of just regular flour tortillas. I got a package of the garden spinach herb tortillas. Um, and then I got two packages of naan. One of them is original and the other one is roasted garlic. And then two bags of bread and one bag of tortilla chips. Then we're gonna come over here for the last few items. So I got some more Gatorade only because this is my oldest daughter's favorite flavor. Um, she doesn't really like any of the other ones, so this is for her. Another thing for her are these Izzy sparkling juice drinks. She really likes them, so I got these again for her. Some baby cut carrots, two pomegranates, I wanted to try this out. My daughter, the other day, she asked me if I had any pineapple cups because we did have some and we were out, so I remembered to put them on the list for this time. And these ones are in coconut water and it's pineapple, peach, and mango. So hopefully she will like those. 
a sweetened condensed milk. This is for the hot chocolate. I got some frosting, um, and this we're actually not even using until Christmas morning. So I'm gonna do something with those um, cinnamon rolls and these. Two English cucumbers, a big old bag of green seedless grapes, and then two pounds of strawberries. All right, so let's go over the meal plan and this is going to be two weeks worth i'm going to show you real quick i will talk about it a little bit next week as well so this haul like i said is for the rest of december except for the little things that were left out of this haul from my ship ship shopper and anything that we run out of between now and the end of the month so our dinners we are going to have a chicken and rice casserole, which is a freezer meal that I have already prepared and it's in my freezer with baked beans and a bag salad. We're going to have sloppy joes and french fries. My daughter cooked sloppy joes this past week and we had plenty left over, so I just stuck those in a bag and put them in the freezer, so I'm gonna pull that out. We're gonna have fried rice and pot stickers. The chicken coconut curry that I got from Costco, I believe, yes, Costco, with broccoli and the naan bread. Turkey pot pie is another freezer meal that I made right after Thanksgiving with ranch style beans and a bag salad. Um, every single week we always have one night of leftovers and then Christmas Eve I do not have to plan an actual dinner um, because we are going over to family. So I'm actually going to be making little smokies and some fresh homemade salsa this day. And the stuff for the salsa I'm not picking up until right before Christmas Eve because I want it to be as fresh as possible. All right, so this is going to be next week. So Monday is Christmas. Um, I'm not quite sure what our dinner plans are yet. So if we don't end up going anywhere, um, I'll definitely be sharing it on the vlog what we end up doing for dinner or I might you know, go back to the store and pick up something to make for dinner for my family here. Tuesday, we're having another one of those chicken and rice casseroles with baked beans and a bag salad. So next week, I will have to pick up another bag salad. Wednesday, we're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs. And the spaghetti sauce that I'm using is actually left over from the lasagna that my daughter cooked last week with green beans and garlic bread. Thursday, we're going to have turkey, stuffing and corn. I have frozen corn and I have canned corn, so not sure what exactly we're using yet. Friday, we're gonna have chicken tacos with refried beans and Spanish rice. Saturday, we're going to have leftovers, and then Sunday is New Year's Eve, another thing that I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet, so this might be something that I might have to purchase some stuff for. But those are our dinners. As far as breakfast goes, we have the yogurt. We have cereal, we have the kolaches, we have bagels, we have stuff for me to make, pancakes. What else? We have Pop-Tarts, so you get the gist. That's, that's our breakfast for the next two weeks. And lunches are typically the same every single week. I am going to be creating some Christmas-themed lunches for my son who goes to first grade in his lunchbox as a little surprise. Um, but we're going to have quesadillas, we have mac and cheese, we have chicken nuggets, we have fish sticks. I share most of that stuff on the vlog. So if you wanna see what we have for lunches and stuff like that, I typically share that in the vlog. But I can always let you guys know, I'm going to be starting to share a lot more starting next year and have printables and all that stuff so it makes it easier for you guys. So any recipes that I do have links for, I'll leave them down below. The freezer meal videos that I did will be down below in the description box as well. So that is it for the rest of December. I will be back next week, but the haul hopefully will be very, very small since we're already over budget. Um, but if you guys love watching grocery hauls and meal plans, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I do post pretty much every single day, a little bit of everything. So I will be back tomorrow with something new for you guys. Bye.